Hello fragrance specialists, my name is Chance, welcome to my guide, and thank you for taking a look at another one of our essential oil breakdowns. Today we're going over Niuli, at least that's how I've always pronounced it, I might be wrong on that, but all the online googling I've been doing has substantiated my claim, so either all of us are mispronouncing it wrong or none of us are. And I'll hedge my bets there, mark my words, Niuli just sounds nice anyways. In any case, it's a relatively cool kind of flowering tree plant. Very neat stuff. I haven't seen one in person, but I really would like to. Tons of uses for this guy as well. But before we dive into that, as always, please do consult your doctor before use. In terms of price, you'll be looking at around $15 for this guy, which is a pretty dang cheap as far as essential oils are concerned. I'm honestly surprised it's not more popular than it is, but... Who knows, maybe it's one of those in certain circle things. I've been noticing a lot of my friends traditionally stick with more citrus or floral based aromatherapy. Although this does have citrusy notes to it, I don't think it quite qualifies. In any case, let's dive right into its profile here. Its scent is most commonly described as having a sharp, slightly sweet, and citrusy aroma. Under uses, you'll see bronchitis, respiratory tract disorders, influenza, sinus congestion, sore throats, catera, coughs, colds, urinary infections, rheumatism, muscular injury, rashes, pimples, acne, herpes, wounds, cuts, grazes, and as an insect repellent. My goodness, so quite a large amount of stuff. I imagine skincare is going to be where you get the most bang for your buck out of this. That's just my impression, of course. Now, under method of extraction, you'll see steam distilled, and it blends well with basil, cedarwood, cinnamon bark, clove bud, eucalyptus, frankincense, nutmeg, peppermint, and sandalwood. And under notes, you'll just see dilute before applying, which is safe to be said for virtually every essential oil we've covered so far, unless it becomes an irritant if you know what I mean. Now let's quickly take a look at its history here. Widely used traditionally by indigenous Australians, a brew was made from the bruised young ar aromatic leaves to treat colds, headaches, and general sickness. The oil is reported in herbalism and natural medicine to work as an antiseptic and antibacterial agent to help with bladder infections, respiratory troubles, and catera. Very interesting stuff. Once again, as with a lot of our other oils, you'll notice a long history and of course being used in different areas for different reasons is certainly a good sign as well. Now let's quickly take a moment here and check out a quick DIY recipe. This one is for invigorating scalp massage. Three drops Naruli. 3 drops of lavender, 1 drop rosemary, 1 and a half teaspoons of jojoba, and 1 half teaspoon of castor oil. Simply give yourself a thorough scalp massage with the blend and that's really all there is to it. Really simple, really short, and really sweet. Hopefully you'll get some use out of it. In any case, let me know down beneath what you think of Niuli. Please feel free to comment any questions, thoughts, comments, concerns, or recipes of your own. And of course, if you're looking at experimenting with this oil, or if you're running low in your own supply, please do consider ordering from Rocky Mountain Essential Oils. I hope you have a great day, and as always, may all of your future endeavors smell divine.